Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to show you how I made this ultra low frequency PWM cycle with a frequency of around 0.2 Hz. This mainly revolves around a Schmidt trigger IC. A basic Schmidt trigger IC shown in this configuration with all equal resistors would trigger high if the voltage on the inverting input goes less than one third of the supply voltage, which in this case is 1.67 volts. Once the Schmidt trigger pulls up to 5 volts, the reference voltage at the non-inverting input would change to 2 thirds of 5 which is 3.33 volts. This means for the Schmidt trigger to go low, the voltage on the inverting input must rise greater than 3.33 volts. This cycle constitutes a negative feedback system which is mandatory for any oscillator. A small modification that I did here was to add an RC circuit which would be responsible for timing of this oscillator. Here the intermediate point of the resistance and the capacitance was connected to the inverting input of the operational amplifier. After the circuit is powered on, the capacitor will start charging through the given resistor. Once it reaches a trigger voltage of 3.33 volts. The voltage at the inverting input would go higher than the non-inverting input. This means the output of the op-amp will be pulled low. Once the voltage is pulled low, the capacitor will start discharging through the same resistor and the voltage will start dropping. Once the voltage drops below a trigger voltage of 1.667 volts, the voltage on the non-inverting input will be higher than the inverting and this means the capacitor will start charging again. This cycle repeats on continuously and this is what makes it an oscillator. So here are the extremely small number of components required. Details on my instructables page. I started soldering them according to the design schematic. After completing some part of the circuit, I moved on to picking up the input which is the potentiometer here. I picked up a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer here but the value may change according to the need of the circuit. After picking up some solid strand wires, I started soldering them to the circuit. The rule here is simple, take a wire, cut it, strip it and pre-tin it which I find pretty helpful in the later stages of soldering. I connected one end of these wires to the potentiometer and the other end of course to the circuit board. With this it was time for testing. I rigged up my DSO 138 mini oscilloscope for testing. After setting up the test rig I then powered on the circuit and expected it to deliver an output. It delivered the same mumbo jumbo which all newborn electronic babies give. Blunder. After a lot of trial and testing I was finally able to get an output from the circuit. It delivered an output with a low frequency of 3 Hz. Due to the properties of the circuit, the frequency of the circuit will not vary much with change in the input voltage. So now it's time to change the duty cycle of the pulse width modulated signal. At the moment, the duty cycle of the PWM depends only on this single resistor. Instead of this single resistor, we may replace it with a potentiometer with two diodes. The two diodes will ensure that the current can only charge the capacitor through one way and discharge only through the other. But using two diodes will introduce an error as the diodes will have a 0.7 volt potential drop across them irrespective of the supply voltage. This means there will be a slight change in the frequency of the PWM with increase or decrease in the supply voltage. With this, I can change the duty cycle of the PWM while maintaining the low frequency. Please check out my instructable page for details. Thanks for watching.